four years after the premiere of his previous directorial effort, The Irishman, director Martin Scorsese has returned to the movies with Killers of the Flower Moon. The film, based on the nonfiction book of the same name by David Gran, tells the real-life story of the Osage murders of the early 20th century. And based on the critical consensus, it is another instant classic from the legendary director. Killers of the Flower Moon opened at the 76th Cannes Film Festival on May 20th, and it's an understatement to say that it was showered with adoration. It received a sustained standing ovation by the time the credits rolled, with many in attendance sharing early praise. Flash forward five months, and the Scorsese feature has arrived in theaters for the general public to enjoy. Additionally, critics on the review aggregator site Rotten Tomatoes have come along to share their two cents on the movie, and they are mostly united in praise for the film, which currently boasts a 92% certified fresh critic score. Mashable's Christy Puchko echoed the views of many when she declared, but with Killers of the Flower Moon, one of the greatest American filmmakers to ever live has bested even himself by twisting his previous modus operandi in crime dramas to demand more of his audience. Here's what else the critics have been saying. The Rotten Tomatoes reviews for Killers of the Flower Moon have made it clear that critics found a lot to love about the film. Huay Tran Bui of Inverse gave the film credit for its historical honesty and Martin Scorsese's masterful handling of that history, a point of praise echoed by numerous other critics. This shouldn't be surprising, considering Scorsese consulted with real members of the Osage Nation to deliver an authentic and introspective account of the tragic events depicted in the movie. In telling this historical tragedy, the New York Times is Manola Dargis noted that Scorsese effortlessly blended several genres together, describing the movie as, quote, a romance, a western, a domestic drama, a whodunit, and finally, a police procedural. The performance of Lily Gladstone, who plays Molly Burkhart, was a highlight for many critics. The Mary Sue's Rachel Leishman wrote, Lily Gladstone's performance is so breathtakingly subtle and brilliant that it will leave you in stunned silence by the end. Similarly, journalist Shannon Shaw Duty of the Osage News said of Gladstone, her presence, her depth, her control, the nuances she brings to the role, she's brilliant. While Gladstone is no doubt a standout in the star-studded picture, Scorsese's frequent collaborators Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro also received considerable amounts of praise from critics. Writing for IndieWire, critic David Ehrlich discussed how the film features, quote, the best performance of Leonardo DiCaprio's entire career. A similar sentiment was echoed by Roger Ebert.com critic Brian Tallarico, who gushed over De Niro's complicated performance as the devilish William Hale King, describing his character as, quote, the kind of sociopath who can sell murder with a smile. For Rotten Tomatoes critics, there's certainly a lot to love in Killers of the Flower Moon, but no film is perfect, and Martin Scorsese's latest isn't escaping criticism. The New Yorker's Anthony Lane wasn't impressed with the direction the film took and argued that it stumbled by failing to capture the perspective of the Osage Nation. Lane suggested that a better and perhaps more sympathetic version of the story should be told by an Osage creative. Kyle Smith of The Wall Street Journal didn't care for the Oscar-winning director's latest either, describing it as soulless and predictable. For those who are more critical of the film, the long runtime and pacing have been cited as negatives. CNN's Brian Lowry wrote that the film's length did not translate to an epic scope and concluded, Scorsese has served up a movie that also plunges into a dark history and comes away with less bang for its bucks. Though the length was a sticking point for some, others, like Kate Rogers of NewsHub, found the colossal 206-minute runtime perfectly acceptable. She wrote, Scorsese is a masterful storyteller, and he likes to take his time. So settle in for the three-and-a-half-hour-long rich tapestry of a film and let it soak right in. Audiences seem to be in the same boat as Rotten Tomatoes critics, as polled viewers gave the film a highly positive A-minus cinema score. Martin Scorsese's Kellers of the Flower Moon is now playing.